Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're talking about a paper recently published in Elementary Therapeutics and Pharmacology um, from Italy. This study addresses the metabolic syndrome in patients with celiac disease. And this group took newly diagnosed patients and followed them a year afterwards and they looked at factors that address what's called the metabolic syndrome. What is the metabolic syndrome? This is basically a condition where associated with increased belly fat or middle fat, we, you detect that by increased waist circumference compared to hip circumference, uh, high blood pressure, and possibly even a tendency towards diabetes. Um, this is probably the greatest nutritional challenge to the, popu the Western population in general. And what this group showed is that metabolic syndrome was very uncommon in people with celiac disease at diagnosis. But by a year after going on a gluten-free diet, a somewhat scary percentage of these patients now fulfilled the European criteria for metabolic syndrome. Patients had developed hypertension. Patients had gained significant weight around the middle. Now, is this because they now, after with correction of their celiac disease and proper absorption of the intestine, they had now achieved what the rest of the population have, uh, that is over nutrition and perhaps less exercise than we should have? Or is this something peculiar or particular to celiac disease? And there are other diseases where once the disease is detected and treated and people regain weight they've lost, they don't regain healthy weight, they regain fat weight, especially around their middle, which seems to be particularly damaging. The second is there something about the food included in a gluten-free diet that may drive this syndrome. So the authors concluded from this, quite rightly, that patients being diagnosed with celiac disease should not only have individualized direction on achieving a gluten-free diet, but also perhaps increased focus on the health of that gluten-free diet in order to detect and prevent the development of these you know, possibly dangerous changes in their metabolism.